as we're happy to have three people on board today, they are, all of them are going to give a statement um, about subjects that are uh, part of everything that we talk about in Intellexit. Maybe for, for once, we could try to look not at the institution as a whole, not at the system as a whole, not at as the concept of mass surveillance as a whole, but at the people within the system. Humans speaking to humans. This is what I love about Intel Exit. Humans that are trapped deep down in the darkness of the rabbit hole. I think there is a real need for that and that we have a real power collectively to base our choices on ethics, to make those people down in the rabbit hole understand that they can make this choice, that quitting secret services when you're asked every day to violate massively people's freedom, whether through mass surveillance or through drone strikes, is an acceptable moral option. I can explain it to you very clearly if you like. Drone pilots are sitting in Nawara, the so-called relay is in Remston, and people are killed in Pakistan. But what does Germany get out of this deal is the question. Or you any better than the, than the US if you are allow, allowing such operations to use your locations? I think this is, this is the best opportunity where the German media actually question its own government because they are equally responsible when they are providing their base to operate these US drones, which are attacking Yemen, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Was hat dann da Verfassungsschutz mitgespielt? Der Ver Verfassungsschutz, nach meiner Information, äh, sollte Dienst leisten, wo ungesetzlich sein ist. Das heißt, Dienstleistung zu Demokratie schützen. Wieso sollte Verfassungsschutz da mit NSU-Leuten arbeiten oder arbeiten lassen oder in Kontakt haben. Wem schützen die? Schützen die einfache Menschen, die einfache Bürger oder schützen die irgendeine Organisation? We got contacted by quite a few people. You're asking me who, where they are coming from. Well, it would be absurd for me to tell you that. Why? Why? Because if people want to come to us and they're seeking our help, so they feel protected, and then I tell you where they're coming from. And it's individual people, and they matter, and not where they come from. Is it a man? Is it a woman? Is he American? Is he German? It doesn't matter. It's a person. It's not a computer. This debate has to happen. We have to make this decision of quitting secret services not only an acceptable moral option, but also the, the courageous act it is. And then those individuals men and women, once empowered by this decision, can decide whether or not they want to become a whistleblower. This must be on the table. This debate must be held, whether it's here in the open or around the super secret coffee machine in the seventh basement of BND.